title tomorrow. Gabe Tardio will get us started. Let's play pickleball. Maybe Tyler Loom coming over a little too yeah, far and like, squeezing Connor yeah. Garnett. <laughs> like, why are you sitting right next to me on the couch? There's a whole cushion available, dude. Side down. Just 18 years old, Gabe Tardio, his partner twice his age. Almost twice his age, literally. Exactly. Twice his yeah. age. <laughs> yeah, just Tardio's got so much upside, too. That's what's so exciting to see these youngsters coming in and just taking over the sport. And there's a little look at the right side player would usually bail out of there, and he's pushing Andre out of the way. And, and Andre doesn't mind. <laughs> the inside out forehand of Tyler. And it's gonna be a big part of this match because Andre Deescu has an amazing inside out forehand too. So who handles it better from Gabe Tardio and Connor Garnett will have a, a big, uh, will be a big factor in this match. So deceptive from both Tyler Lung and Andre Deescu. Two zero two. Just a little flat flip. That is that is not a roll from Tyler Loom. He does not have that with one hand, but he can punch it well. Connor's going to need to learn quickly that going through Gabe is not going to happen. Yeah, and he's going to get a lot of opportunities because Andre Deescu loves that cross-court pattern, backhand to backhand, left side to left side. So you better pick your spots well, Connor. How is that not just destroyed? Tyler, let it fly, man. You got plenty of power. Just let that one fly. Two zero one. I mean, it was, it was such an odd decision. It f literally forced the air. Tyler Loom, the Andre Deescu two-hander off the bounce was a big factor in the gold medal in Salt Lake City a week ago. So nice job from Tyler to handle that shot early. Nope. Trying to poach a little late there. Yes, beat Ignatowicz and Matt Wright in that final. I was very impressed with Andre Deescu. Always known to be a big man with Here's soft hands. Want. But his hands were heavy, and his initiations of offense were on point. Jump in there and tag 
game. I said off the ball. It's so hard to read from a low position, too, from Tyler Loon. What a shot. Oh, Connor. Yeah, coming in hot. And, uh, uh, last night against Federico Staxford and Matt Wright, Connor Garnett, and Tyler Loon. Matt Wright was the one pulling the trigger. Yeah. So who is going to be the one on court today that is breaking the soft pattern? Uh, Gabe for that. Yes, one. Yeah, Gabe, Gabe for <laughs> that one. I have an answer for you. Yes. At least an immediate will look here. But even early on, there's been some extended rallies in this match. Uh, players very hesitant to pull the trigger because they know they're going to eat it if it's not a good one. Look out. Second serve. Just SWAT team for Tyler Loon. Just props up on one leg yeah. and just two, one, two. lets it whip, not rip, whip. Man, that's good from Andre. Kind of tied up in the middle and got the paddle there. Yeah, with two hands also. I, I would expect him to go to one if he's a little off or a little pretzeled up. It's great control from Andre. And shake it, bake it, 4-1. Yeah, there's a nice inside out. That was one of the closest and gentlemanly <laughs> exchanges of the ball I've ever seen. It's like, all right, here you go. Go serve it. Oh, nice job by Gabe on the inside out that time. Yeah, great hands from Gabe Tardio. The initial speed up from Andre was eh. a little suspect, but Gabe bailed him out. That's partner trust. Oh, 360. What a get. Wow. Oh, no. He <laughs> goes for the back side of the paddle save, but what a shot from the 18-year-old Gabe Tardio. I'm clapping. Man, what a point, fellas. Man, just the hands are heavy. Yeah, and even the one that Gabe missed. Andre had his back yeah. and is right there to extend the firefight. And this is darn close to a Utah timeout, and that is exactly what we get. Lead. degree of difficulty. Yeah, the look on Gabe's face afterwards uh, suggests that I don't think it was quite there for the youngster. Yeah. Well, Andre tries one up the line and Tyler Loon shut it down. He decides to rip a two-hander off the bounce up the middle and same result. I know the first Tui Nation backhand off the bounce did not work for Connor, but he can't just put that in the back pocket. He has to find a couple spots to be aggressive against Gabe Tardio. Oh my, that is Boys. a dinner. Boys, we have to chat too. I know it didn't come up off the 
court quite as high as you would hope, but one of you is clearly, I mean, you're both tall. Just stick one of those paws out there and dink it over. Dink winners are not okay. No. Those are. Yes, <laughs> that's a, it's a different situation. And that's one of those you think you can take advantage of it where Lou and Garnett do not after the missed partner communication. It's just crazy how a ball coming from a different spot can jam you up so yes. much more. Gabe's handled everything straight ahead, just like Matt Wright yesterday. But when that, that lefty deception coming from the middle of the court just makes you look silly sometimes. Off the tape and Garnett can't hit it smoothly and there's a difference in Gabe right there. In the past when he got tagged, he would have just lit up the next ball. He saw, just threw it in the kitchen, lived to play another day, and then win the rally. Yeah, it would be a sequence of events for the youngster. When it didn't work with offense, he would just go more and more and more and more, and that's not the case anymore. Great restraint. And that is a couple of wild off balance, and when you make a tee with your paddle in your hand, you're both upset. And you need a timeout. Yeah, and that's that's what we have here because uh, that was, yeah, not clean. No. R right, right after the miscommunication on the dink yes. winner, uh, three or four very sloppy points from Garnett and Loom. And I love what Garnett and Loom are doing right there. They're like, okay, that was LP, but watching matches and having that dialogue and that back and forth uh, to figure things out on the fly that we mentioned several times in the broadcast is so tough to do. precarious situation there and found his footing at the last second. He was beaten so cleanly. That was disgusting yes. from Andre Deescu from that position with Slice. Good night. saw the future there a little bit. Uh, I mean, just absolute, complete control. We're playing the way we want to play, and it is fast. The hands are terrific, and this is a one-sided affair here in the first men's semifinal. Those yes. wonderful amenities. Yes, it's uh, as fun as you can have down there at Brookhaven Country Club, and uh, Loong and Garnett need to find some answers quickly. That's not it. Floating third, sitting up for Andre to be aggressive with the forehand and keep Tyler Loom back one. at the baseline. speed-ups of Andre have gone the way of Tyler Loom. Zero, zero, two. I mean, the youngster even fired the Tui off the ground. Tui Nation. Yeah, world-class defense from Loon and Garnett, and it's not enough. No. One zero two. Yeah. 
And there is the Ernie King. Just that was an easy one. Inside out filth, though, as yeah. the finish. Yeah, he, but he didn't slap it. He, I mean, he, pu he pushed that ball to the middle. That is great uh, touch and feel while being in midair. Easy one for Loom. How did you feel about that, Andre? Yeah, yeah, Disgusting, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that one, one, so one. good. It's so good. Throws the hands up. <laughs> yeah, one of the few chances Andre's been able to attack out of the air, yeah. and it was a very good one down low. One, one, two. This hit return from Andre, and a solid start for Logan Garnett. Two, one, two. Okay, so throwing the shake and bake right back at them, and they're up two here to start game two. I think it could be a great option for, for both of them. Good drives and good athleticism and crash ability Three, one, from Logan two. Garnett. Keep going, fellas. Again, similar pattern to a couple points ago. Connor Garnett has to get that cross court dink situated. Too much reach from Andre. Uh, if you're off just a little bit, he's going to make you pay. Oh, just sick touch there. Made it look like he was going to demolish it. And that's why he's the Ernie King, because of all the options. I mean, if you can Ernie drop shot, not a lot of people have that one. Oh, and back to back. Yes. If you are king, this is my court, ladies and gentlemen. That's beautiful. Yes. Smacks that one line. We had the inside out up the middle three, earlier one, one. and the drop shot. All three from Tyler Loom. I mean, if it's your brand, you need to show it off. Yeah, you better. Another missed return from Diascu, four, one, and it's 4-1. One. One. And Gabe's just like, come on. Whatever, man. And it just comes off his paddle just a little hotter than everybody else. Seems that way. Balance there and pushes one that was pretty good, well deep. Yeah, and to Five take the balance two. off. I mean, he's just off a little bit to start game two in general. Have to get it cleaned up, big man. Once he gets a shot at it to finish off the rally, not that time. Oh, I just love firefights, yes. Dave. So much fun. And, and really, Loom and Garnett, Tyler Loom loves to dig cross court with the backhand, and they are avoiding the forehand of Gabe Tardio right yes. now. A lot of balls to Andre and to the middle of the court. Court dink that sails too deep. Yeah, that's that's three for Connor Garnett in this one. game, and those are just easy opportunities for Andre Deescu. Great take from Garnett there. I like that response immediately. Two five two.
He got that hooked all the way around there. Man. Yeah, that was a beauty. Uh, he needed the Five side spin one. to bring that ball into the court, and he got it. Oh, us Flemings love the flamingo pose yes. there. Gabe, get up on that one leg. And, and they both did it. Uh -huh. So maximizing their length. I mean, they're already tall guys yeah. anyway, but when your footwork and your body positioning is Five even two giving two. you more reach, almost no place to drop the ball. Just pushing the pace with yet another Ernie for Tyler Loon. He'll go matches where he'll get tons like this, and others will not give them that ball. We'll see if they stop going down the line, they being Andre. That's wide, too. It should be a timeout, and it. Well done. That's the best. We appreciate you. They keep throwing it into the one place you can't, and he is just pouncing on it like a lion on a wounded gazelle. And, and, and he has the Thank reputation. You, it's not like this is new. Andre's played him, and it's what Tyler Lung is known for. I mean, the dude walks on the court, Ernie King. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I, I, I've played him so many times, and that is always the first discussion. Don't give Tyler Ernie's. That's been the only pattern that's working. Oh, and it, go ahead, oh, please. Sorry, Dave, oh. I was just gonna say, we started off with about a two to one ratio, Andre to Gabe, and now Three it's about one. six yes. to one. The youngster is getting frozen out, so Andre must step up. And Connor has no need to do that, because guess what, he is gonna get hit yes. with that. Yeah. Like, the best news for him is he hit the net. Well, it's his second best backhand from a low position yeah. for yeah. Connor Garnett as he goes with one hand. It says Tui Nation on your hat. Oh, oh, oh. Second, so, Gabe thinks he made that. I didn't see it. Gabe, Gabe looks unsure. Yeah. Oh, he's doing, going with the neck scratch. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Wow. Boy, darn it. Uh, it's unreal that they have the lead they have because that has just floated. And I don't know why Andre just doesn't keep going over there. Just disregard down the line. Uh, I will say a big let out of frustration from Andre yes. after that missed yes. drive. But I'll say it right now, he is a veteran. He does not dink line the rest of this game. There it is, okay. going on over there because this is just ridiculous. Stop it, Andre. Please, please, please. Friend to friend, stop it. Feeding the offense of Loon is Diascu. Gabe finally gets a chance to show his offensive prowess, but we're two points from game three here. Wow, what 
defense from Tyler Lung, and they have a game point on their paddles. That sails well deep, but hit Tui Nation on the way by. Oh, I didn't even see that. 10-1. Didn't even use his legs, just no. stood straight up, one-handed backhand down in the dirt. I mean, he owns Andre right now. better there and his percentage winning cross-court dinks has been fine oh it's been great it's been great and even mixed up his spot there instead yes. of going middle he goes back Six, behind ten, connor and forces the air that is the pattern and that is not and yet it doesn't change yeah i mean i, I get that one as the guy coming was tra forward transitioning Absolutely. forward but just just keep it away from that man right now second game point to force a third and decider Connor pops up. It's kind of big here Ten, just six, to get this thing in the barn. Yeah. Right through the wickets and after getting absolutely steamrolled in game one, Garnett and Loon do what they do in Vegas. They keep rolling the dice and it comes up their way in a big way in game number two. We will play three. Tournaments are a fun and exciting way to grow your game, connect with other players, and stay active in the welcoming pickleball community. Whether you're a seasoned player or looking to try your first tournament, we have a place for you couple weeks time and this is the fourth in a row in August so the fact that the level is so good for these players is impressive for their fitness. of restraint and then Tardio got in there but didn't overreact and then Andre won cross court. So that is the model that works for these two. Will they stay in it? Tyler Lung is just <laughs> hoping that Andre did exactly what he did and speed up up the middle, and it got shut Zero real one. quick. Look, look. <laughs> There's a spot to put the ball. Gone. Wow, the tomahawk from Lung in the middle of that, but that counter somehow stays in. Just Zero plops one, right two. on it, on the miss hit from Gabe Tardio. Uh, 
nice drive. And this start is important. Yes. Because disinterested is a strong word, but Gabe was getting a bit frustrated yes. with the freeze out in game two. And it's one thing if you're getting frozen out and your partner's playing amazing, but if they're a little off with their decisions, that can that cannot sit well with you. There it is again. I, I don't understand why that just isn't it. Because Garnett sped up zero balls in game two. Oh, be tall and be smart. What a shot there for. Andre Diascu. And he didn't even need the footwork. No. It's just patience and Three, one two, big one. lunge to get where he needs to be. That would have taken me seven steps. That's <laughs> so unfair. It's uh, just not right. We'll switch into Three, the court two, two. when one of the team reaches six. Definitely. Great hands from Gabe and right in the strike zone for yes. Andre Diascu on the last ball, about three inches long. Zero, three, one. unreal how deep some of these dinks Garnett is just letting fly and he is doing nothing with them. Right, so uh, if Andre gets a ball in the middle, then he can go to Tyler Loon, but if it's fully cross court from Connor, never break the pattern right now. That's pretty. Especially I an mean, aggressive court positioning for Lung, and he's scampering back. Yes. So that was much different than the previous <laughs> yeah. middle attack from Andre. Yeah, and discipline to the strategy is something that goes haywire sometimes for teams. We'll see if they can keep at it. And Lung and Garnett have got to find answers again. That's really nice. Tyler Ling has been terrific here in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's a great hook. He, he almost always pushes that middle or inside out. So uh, to do that once or twice and then completely hook it up the line at Andre's backhand is a perfect spot from Loom. That has been another thing that Loon has done well, is of course the initial speed up is great, but you can't get it away from no. him after that. He seems to be in the right position and finding a forehand on the combinations every time. Push deep there on a slidey high third to start it. Yet to score here in game number three. He was too far away. He wanted it. Yeah, you, I mean, he, he can hit a backhand Ernie, but that's the one you want him to try. You don't want to give him the forehand. And he's got to just remain patient with his court positioning as well and not try and hit a three-run homer, which are not part of our sport.
We had three people on one side of the court there, Adam. <laughs> and Tyler hung out, and then he jumps the corner to get back just in position in just in case. In case there's some carryover kitchen rule. <laughs> That's not part of our sport either. No. there and that that's one of those you hope hits the bar and then you get a do-over and this court is very it can give you that rug burn that you just don't want on your hand yeah gritty uh, they'll give you a strawberry yes connor goes to the towel looks to be good to go four zero two Wow. Oh, and then can't make the next one. And they have a chance to switch six zip. Yeah, and we've seen this a lot where the team comes back. Get this point and switch with that commanding lead. Don't let your opponents creep back in. Oh boy, Gabe. You did so much nice work after an unbelievable return from Garnett. So how many will be the difference? Uh, none if you're only five or six squares up from the bottom on your third. Yeah, and Tyler's left a couple high floaty backhand drops, and now I think an overcorrection is coming. Wow, so he lights up a two-handed backhand, which is not something you usually see from him. Yeah, that's a huge possession right there for Garnett and Loom to get nothing. That's well in the court, and they will switch sides at 6 nothing. and Andre was even looking for a paddle tap there for some reason. So, it goes back and forth. Every minute of it. The question is, do the Utah Black Diamond boys have another response? And Andre just keeps dictating. He has upped his level, not one or two, but four or five marks. Yeah, that's what veterans do. So kudos to him for making those adjustments after a tough game two for him. It's a very nice roll from Connor Garnett. And he has played just very passive, and that just isn't going to get it to the finish line. It looks like he's going to have to find something. Yeah, it's like, I realize we have two forehands in the middle, but that is not a 50-50 selection. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's why he gave him three yeah. knees. <laughs> me, 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 and I'll, I'll, I'll get out of there. All you, Tyler. So Garnett is is letting it rip now. And, and that's a fine pull. I mean, he had everything flowing forward and the ball was waist high. Just have to make it. Well, Tui backhand's being ripped by Loon. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want to go to that slice. No, he's that's, scared of it. Yeah, giving him some trouble. But nice to have backup and a competent backup, yeah. too. I mean, Loon can't believe how fast that came back because his paddle was actually out in front. Yeah, and Gabe Tardio has made a nice adjustment on that exact ball because he's been pretzeled up more than I've seen him in a while from that inside out lefty forehand of Loon, but it's been getting better and better for Gabe as the match has progressed. Okay. That was odd. That was not good at all. Barely made contact with a floaty drop. Took his eye off of it. See, Andre thought you were yes. going to go for the angle. <laughs> over there, <laughs> I Tyler. ran over here. 
<laughs> he just can't help himself. And that's an awesome move because Loong is all the way in the middle, but then when he sees the paddle position, he knows he's going. Andre, no, Andre, no. <laughs> Gabe's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just have one idea. <laughs> just one single idea. Back cross court, bro. We're up 8-1. compact a shot yeah. and, and Connor Garnett is getting targeted two, eight, and he has two. less than five two-handed backhand speed up yeah, oh. this match what a stat I mean what respect to Gabe Tardio tomahawks are out again that's when he flips that paddle over that is pretty he's got all the paddle positions that previous Ernie too on the backhand side I mean he can he can flip it around and use whichever side he needs to but yeah, I, I agree with you completely. That that is respect for the counterattacks of Gabe Tardio. That is Connor Garnett's best shot, and he has put it in his back pocket. The dads on tour just going at it today. Look at that intensity from yes. Andre. That man wants it bad. Loon just stayed in the straddle position there, too, and he was like, uh uh, that was like a five mees there. Stuck on eight for a minute. This is an important little rally here. Asking for the return to go to Diescu. He listens. jumps in 
And if this score was different, Gabe would be in a different mood. Yeah, he, he just wants to play, Dave. He does. He, he came all the way over there. And he came to the beautiful place. Yes, and unfortunately, when he's getting to play, it's a speed up coming right at him most of the time. He stuck his paddle in a couple times, but he showed restraint of not doing something crazy. I mean, grit the teeth and look at the people in your box, Andre. And the box is laughing too. Yes. They, they, they love it. Slides off the tape, so they get nothing. Don't cut into the lead. Two points from a championship Sunday berth. Here they go. What a get. Oh, and then Gabe goes for a hero shot that wasn't necessary. Yeah, uh, I, I, I guess I get that one with the score line and the freeze out situation, but I mean, quality opponents. We're in the semifinal of a PPA yeah. Tour event. You have to be a careful. Can't try too many of those or they're going to creep back in it. and waits and does not go up the line and earns them a match point. Match point. 1st dink miss for Andre and a long right, do they have one final pushback. Look at him dance across the line there, just knowing he's going to get the ball. Loom, impressive. Yeah, beautiful. And a slippery speed up up the line that Andre handled. So Loom is ramping up the aggression in these big moments. That's a firefight Connor does not want to be involved in. That's, that is quite a punch from the young Bolivian. crazy because Gabe was almost fixing his shirt and he's like oh let me block this down for a winner that was unbelievable Gabe always does that Look at during that. the point that too. was unreal okay match point number two and that'll do it 
Welcome back to Sunday, fellas. Gabe Tardio and Welcome back, everybody, to the Las Vegas Pickleball Cup. In this town, people like to double down, and that is exactly what Gabe and Andre are looking to do, win two titles in a row. They are on their way to Championship Sunday. Congratulations, boys, and they are standing by with Hannah Johns. Well, guys, you kept a healthy lead throughout game three, but there was this feeling that you could never fully relax. What was going through your head? Uh, these guys are great competitors. They were playing very well. Uh, they came in with some great momentum into this match. I feel like we, we made it a goal to start every game strong. And game one, we started very strong. Game two, not so strong. And they got to a lead, and they played so well and closed that one. And then game three, we were able to, to jump to a lead. And, uh, you know, they fought back really hard, but we were able to hold on to that and, and close it at 11-4. So uh, just super excited to make another final with this guy. And, uh, yeah, hopefully get another gold medal tomorrow. Well, this is a magical duo right here. You guys are coming off a of gold just last weekend. You also took the golden mix. So it's been a pretty big time and successful time for you. What part of your game are you feeling best about? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, happy to make uh, another final. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just happy to uh, be playing along this guy. I think I've been working a lot with uh, top 10 roles, you know, uh, thinking aggressively. And I think uh, that's one of the main reasons why we're doing this good. You're headed to Championship Sunday, guys. Congratulations. Dave. All right. So